Hello and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It's Tuesday, September the 5th of 2023. I do hope all of our students and teachers and faculty and staff of all of our different uh, educational institutions have had a wonderful beginning to the school year. This evening we begin with a reading from Max Lucado, Calm Moments for Anxious Days. Righteousness is who God is. God's righteousness endures forever and reaches to the skies. God is righteous. His decrees are righteous. His judgment is righteous. His, his requirements are righteous. His acts are righteous. Daniel declared, our God is righteous in everything he does. God is never wrong. He has never rendered a wrong decision, experienced the wrong attitude, taken the wrong path, said the wrong thing, or acted the wrong way. He's never too late or too early, too loud or too soft, too fast or too slow. He has always been and always will be right. He is righteous. Our opening prayer this evening also comes from Max Lucado, Start with Prayer. Let us pray. Father, your love is perfect and your ways are perfect. I cannot begin to understand the depths of your love and wisdom. Help me to be wise. As I need to make decisions, give me clarity and peace. You are not a God of confusion, so I want to hear your voice alone. Please bring peace to me as I make choices. Keep me far from confused thoughts and close to your perfect peace. Thank you for direction and guidance. You always provide for me. In the name of my true provider. Amen. Our first scripture reading this evening is Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. They will abide in prosperity, and their children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Conf consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes, and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem, redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all its troubles. And from Joshua, chapter 6, verses 1 to 7. Now Jericho was shut up inside and out because of the Israelites. No one came out and no one went in. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have handed Jericho over to you, along with its king and soldiers. You shall march around the city, all the warriors circling the city once. Thus you shall do for six days, with seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram horns before the ark. On the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, the priests blowing the trumpets. When they make a long blast with the ram's horn, as soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, 
Then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and all the people shall charge straight ahead. So Joshua, son of Nun, summoned the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and have seven priests carry seven trumpets of ram's horns in front of the Ark of the Lord. To the people he said, Go forward and march around the city. Have the armed men pass on before the Ark of the Lord. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Our reading this evening comes from Streams in the Desert uh, by L.B. Cowman and updated by James Raymond. The loud shout of steadfast faith is the exact opposite of the groans of wavering faith and the complaints of discouraged hearts. Of all the secrets of the Lord, I do not believe that there are any more valuable than the secret of his loud shout of faith. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands along with its king and fighting men. He did not say, I will deliver, but I have delivered. The victory already belonged to the children of Israel, and now they were called to take possession of it. But the big question still remaining was how. It looked impossible, but the Lord had a plan. No one would normally believe that a shout could cause city walls to fall, yet their secret of their victory lay precisely in just that shout, for it was the shout of faith. And it was a faith that dared to claim a promised victory solely on the basis of the authority of God's word, even though there were no physical signs of fulfillment. God answered his promise in response to their faith, for when they shouted, he caused the walls to fall. God had declared, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, and faith believed this to be true. And many centuries later, the Holy Spirit recorded this triumph in the book of faith in the book of Hebrews as follows. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the army had marched around them for seven days. Hebrews 11, chapter 30. That reflection was written by Hannah Whitehall Smith and is followed with, Faith can never reach its consummation till the victor's thankful song we raise. In the glorious city of salvation, God has told us all the gates our praise. Our prayer this evening is the words of the hymn, O God, in whom we live and move. Let us pray. O God, in whom we live and move, in whom we draw each breath, God filling all the height above and all the depths beneath. Our hands may build your hallowed shrine, no bound your presence owns. What highest heaven cannot confine, the lowly heart enthrones. You are about our path and where we seek to tread your ways. All life is sacrament and prayer, and every thought is praise. And when we gather in your name to pray with one accord, around within us still the same, we find your presence, Lord. In simple faith, or solemn rite, in head and heart and hand. Though you are hidden from our sight, yet in our midst you stand. Be with us, Lord, with us abide. Go with us where we go, and changeless in life's changing tide, your presence we shall know. Amen. God be with you this evening. May his presence be all around you and may you feel it so that you are without doubt that he is with you. Go into this night trusting that the Lord will bring you through and prepare you to serve him tomorrow morning for another day. God bless you this evening and always. Amen. Good night. <laughs>